probably my favorite part of Wisconsin. This is the Driftless region. It's amazing. So it's more of like the southwest portion of Wisconsin, closer down by Wisconsin Dells and the Madison area. But I am meeting up with two other lady riders today. I'm super, super pumped. One um, I have rode with before, probably the last month or so we rode a couple was uh, Wisconsin Rustic Roads. Her name is Bridget. She is on Instagram. <laughs> She is on Instagram as the girl on her bike. And then we are meeting up with Crystal, who is, if you want to follow her, I think she just started her own YouTube channel as of today. <laughs> but it's um, that girl underscore go go that um, she is doing a like cross country motorcycle trip. And so I. I don't know when I came across her, but she was up in the UP for the past couple days and just came down to Milwaukee last night. So we connected because we we're gonna hopefully meet up in Sturgis um, in a couple weeks. But I told her if you're here, Bridget and I had already planned to go do this today, just to go out and ride if you wanna connect with us and ride along. So that's how everything started. The conversation got rolling this morning and we just picked a destination. So we are going to meet up at a quick trip. They know my style. <laughs> and kind of see where the day takes us. We don't have too, too much. Oh, I'm in too slow over here. We don't have too long to ride just because we have other prior obligations later on this evening. But yeah, I'm just so happy to be back down here. So we're gonna meet up at the gas station. We're going to do one of the rustic roads. And then we are also, one of my recommendations was to stop at Wollersheim. It's a winery and a distillery. I had been there on the bikes with my husband last summer, probably around this time frame actually too. But I am in love with their like, um, craft drinks that they mix up on the distillery end so that was a must for me um, Crystal said she was a go for that too so that's kind of our meeting place to connect and get off the bikes and really get to know each other kind of I don't know <laughs> talk it's hard to do when you're on a bike but yeah I'm excited to see where this day goes and I'm gonna take you along with me all right let's head to quick trip So I heard a very loud ding as I hit a bump coming in to here. So I was like, please, oh God. I don't know. I haven't checked yet. Well. I see that. I see that. You're leaking. Yeah, welcome. Just don't look. Okay. It's not pretty. Okay. Ride whatever. Ride whatever's true. That way. Yeah. Okay. 
a change of plans. I guess we're going to vintage. We're all starving. The girls need to eat. Where to park? Oh yeah, shit, that's right. I think... I don't know if I have an extra one. Thanks to Best Buy yesterday. Oh, well. It's just to sit down. Come on, Gator. That's all I got. That works. Holy hell. Yeah, I was gonna say, do I have a Very quick. <laughs> quick time spent here. We needed to eat and we got to talking and realized it was four o'clock and I need to leave because it's about an hour 40 minute drive home and I am probably going to be late to pick up the kiddos. <laughs> it's not going to be good guys. I hate to be rushed but it was good conversation. Um, we tried out a couple new brews at the brewery, had some lunch, Talked trips, talked Hawaii, talked talk. Ugh, if I could talk with these bumps. Ugh. Talked Hawaii, talked Sturgis, talked Tennessee, talked Maine, a bunch of different stuff, just getting to know each other. So it was a great day. It was just short lived. I wish I had more time, but with me being an only parent. <sighs> I have to go get the kids. Nobody else can go get them, which is unfortunate. So I am going to hurry home as best as I possibly can with Friday traffic. And yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.